Hello everyone, welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider at another concept on even and odd parts of the signal. The task is x of n, a discrete time signal x of n is given, and we need to find, we need to sketch its even and odd parts. Is that okay? This is how the given signal x of n uh, looks like. Before I sketch the even and odd parts, we all know that uh, the equation for even part x e of n I represented as x e of n which is equal to 1 divided by 2 into bracket x of n x of n plus x of minus n. So this is the formula to find even part of any signal. Similarly we have another formula to find odd part of the signal which is equal to 1 divided by 2 into bracket x of n minus x of minus n. So this is the equation to find odd part of any given signal. Looking at this the given signal is x of n and if I look at the formula I need x of n which is already there and I also need x of minus n. The very first task is I need to sketch x of minus n. If you look closely x of minus n is nothing but it will be the reflected version of the given signal x of n. If I could sketch that the next task is I need to add those two signals and later divide by 2 so that I get the even part. Similarly to get the odd part, I need to subtract these two signals and later divide it by 2 uh, so that I get the odd part of the given signal. Is that okay? So before I sketch x of minus n, the reflected version, I would recommend every one of you to uh, subscribe to our channel NG Classes uh, so that we can uh, weave uh, more videos on signals and systems. Is that okay? So let us let, let, me, let me first consider sketching of uh, x of minus n. So this signal I would call it as x of minus n. I said x of minus n is nothing but the reflected version of x of n. So how would that look like? It's as good as take the mirror and keep it along here where, uh, in this axis so that uh, whatever I get is nothing but the reflected version. So I need to reflect this along the vertical axis so that I get x of minus n. So if I do that I would get something like this. Yes, at the 0th position, this is the sample which has the value uh, 2, amplitude is 2. At uh, 1, it was something like this. Now, at minus 1, it looks like this. Uh, at 2, this is uh, 2 and at minus 2, it takes the value over here. Amplitude will be still 2. And at 3, it is 2. Now, that becomes the value at minus 3. So, this is how it looks like. This is the signal at minus 3. Next I have the value at uh, 4. At position 4 its amplitude is minus 2. So now it becomes at minus 4 and its amplitude will still be at minus 2. This is how it looks like. Then at 5 the same value appears at minus 5. I have a sample at 6 that becomes at minus 6. So this is how the signal finally looks like. Is that okay? So let me write the amplitude. Uh, this here it is uh, plus 2 and uh, here it is minus 2. Is, is that fine? So this is how uh, the reflected version of x of n looks like. The next task is I need to sketch even part so that I need to add and later divide by uh, 2. Uh, that, that will uh, do it now. So let me consider x axis and y axis. Uh, this signal straight away I would call this as even part of the signal x e of the n which has been plotted with respect to uh, the time n. So let me add everything uh, limit by limit. Let's see what I can get. Uh, first let me write the limit this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6. So now uh, consider addition of these two signals. x of n at the position, uh, how, do, how do I add these two signals? The best thing is to start adding them from the extreme left and keep moving to the extreme right. So that is the best way to add or subtract any of the given two signals. So look here, at minus 6, the amplitude of this is minus 2. And I, I, x of n, I don't have anything. I'm adding 0 plus minus 2, I'm going to get minus 2. And at minus 5, the position minus 5, this is 0 and this is minus 2, I'm going to get minus 2. At the position minus 4, I don't have anything here. Here it is minus 2. I'm going to get minus 2. So I'm going to get 3 minus 2s. Later, I have to divide it by 2. So that I'm going to get minus 1. Is that okay? So that is how I get uh, that signal. 
at uh, minus 6, I'm going to get uh, minus 1. Minus 5, I'm going to get minus 1. Minus 4, also I'm going to get minus 1. So this is how uh, that signal looks like. Similarly, moving further, uh, check here. At the position minus 3, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And here I don't have anything. This plus this, I'm going to get 2. But later I have to divide by 2 and I'm going to get 1. So let me plot that. At my minus 3, I'm going to get 1. At minus 2, again I'm going to get 1 over here. At minus 1, again I'm going to get 1 over here. Is that okay? So now these signals, I'll call it as uh, all the values. I need to call them as 1. These are 1 and these are minus 1. Similarly, at the position 2, if you look at the position 2, this, uh, sorry, at the position 0, at the position 0, the amplitude is 2, at the position 0, amplitude is 2, I'm adding these two things, 2 plus 2, I'm going to get 4, later I need to divide by 2, hence I'm going to get 2 at the position 0. Is that okay? So this I'll plot it at the position uh, 0. Yes, this signal I'm going to call this as uh, 2. Is that okay? Similarly, moving further, at the position 1, if you look here, this is 2, 2, 2, at the position 1, 2, 3, here I don't have anything, so I'm going to get 2, but later I'll divide it by 2 again, and I'm going to get 1. I hope I'm clear here. So I'll, I'll sketch uh, 1 over here, at the position starting from 1, 2, and uh, at 3 as well. Yes, at 3 as well. I am going to get all 1s. So these are all 1. Is that fine? Similarly, moving further, at the position 4, 5, 6, these are minus 2. I don't have anything over here. Uh, minus 2 plus 0, I am going to get minus 2. Later, I will divide it by 2. I am going to get minus 1. So I have to sketch minus 1 over here. So let me sketch. Let me consider sketching minus 1. This is minus 1, this is minus 1, and this is also going to be minus 1. So I will write minus 1 over here. So finally, this is how uh, the even part of the signal xc of n looks like. Once it is done, the next task is to sketch the odd part. So let me consider sketching odd part of the signal now. For that, I'll just get x-axis and y-axis. And I would call this signal straight away as xo of n, odd part of the signal with respect to n. These are the time division axis. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6. So again let me consider the subtraction of x of n and x of minus n and later I need to divide by 2. So how do I start with? Again I will start from the extreme left and I move to the extreme right. That is the best way. Look here at the minus 6 this is 0 and this is minus 2. 0 minus of minus 2, I am going to get plus 2. Are you getting it? Similarly at the position minus 5, this is 0, this is minus 2. 0 minus of minus 2, I am going to get plus 2. Similarly at the position minus 4. So these things will get inverted. And later I will divide it by 2, I am going to get 1. At the position minus, five, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, I am going to get 1. So here I will sketch this. Yes, I got the another signal and yes, these three signals, these three samples, I would call the amplitude as 1. So they have the amplitude 1. So moving on further, uh, let me just compare with uh, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So here I don't have anything. This is 0, 0, minus 2 and I'm going to get minus 2. Later I'll divide it by 2, I'm going to get minus 1. Is that fine? At the position minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, I'm going to get the amplitude as minus 1. So let me consider uh, sketching that. So here I would sketch that. This is minus 1. This is minus 1. And this is also going to be minus 1. So once it has been sketched, so I would call this with the amplitude minus 1. Is that okay? So moving on further, at the position 0 I have amplitude 2, at the position 0 I have amplitude 2. I am subtracting these two signals. 2 minus 2 I am going to get 0. So at the position 0, I am going to get the amplitude as 0. That is how I indicate. Similarly, moving on further to the right side, at the position 1, 2, 3, this is 2, I don't have anything. 2 minus 0, I am going to get 2 later, I will divide it by 2, I am going to get 1. 
at the position 1 2 3 I need to sketch 1 so this I'll sketch it as 1 this also I'll sketch it as 1 yes and here also I'll sketch this signal and I would call this as 1 these are, are all going to be 1 the amplitude is 1 now so let me write the same thing with the amplitude 1 yes moving on further what I'm going to get at the position 4, 5, 6. At the position 4, 5, 6, this takes the amplitude minus 2. Here I don't have anything. Minus 2, minus 0, I'm going to get minus 2. Uh, later I'll divide it by 2, I'm going to get minus 1 at the position 4, 5, 6. At the position 4, 5, 6, I'm going to get minus 1. Here, one more signal here and ultimately towards the end here so this signal i would call this as minus one so this is how the odd part of the signal finally looks like and this is how uh, we sketch even and odd part of any given signal uh, in this particular example we have considered a discrete time signal and in uh, earlier numericals we had considered many of uh, continuous time signals and we should also know how to implement the same concept uh, for discrete time signals also so in this example we have considered that we have done that i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i will definitely definitely answer those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on signals and systems thank you everyone for watching